Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. It's good to have you join us and welcome if you're joining us on the phones. As usual, the words to the prayers will be in the box below this video if you don't have the booklet that we use. There's also details there for Ian, our minister. Let's take a few moments to quieten our minds, our hearts and our souls as we prepare to come before God. We say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. Now we turn to the Psalms and today we're at Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are precious, they are more precious than gold, that such that much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey than honey from the comb. By them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless, innocent, of great transgression. May the words of my, wow, my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Now let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now we continue reading in the Gospels. We're in Matthew's Gospel, reading from chapter 11, verse 7. As John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? If not, what did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No, those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you the truth. Among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Yet he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing and forceful men lay hold of it. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John and if you are willing to accept it, he is the Elijah who was to come. He who has ears, let him hear. To what can I compare this generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling out to others. We played the flute for you. And you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, He is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her actions. Amen. Now we turn to God in a time of prayer. We will use the first prayer on the sheet and this will be followed by a time of silence where we can lift before God those prayers, people, things that are on our hearts. We pray together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We pray in silence. We continue together. You are the beginning and the end. 
all time is in your hands, all people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask, and do not allow us to be slow in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who at the last through wood and nails purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough-hewn to your bench, may be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye for now and stay safe.